In this video, we'll learn how to create the moldings like skirtings, cornices and more for interiors using the Profile Builder plugin. Let's go. By the way, this video is taken from the complete SketchUp and V-Day course for interior design, which you will find in the link in the description. Now, let's jump straight to the video. Now, in this video, we're going to learn how to create our skirting and also our crowns. So generally the bottom here in India is called skirting, but I guess overseas you call it molding as well. All right, so to start off, I'm going to click on profile builder here, which is open the profile dialog. If you do not see this toolbar, you can go to view toolbars, scroll down and you'll find profile builder three. Make sure to switch that on and then click on close. So you can click here to open the profile dialog. Now this is the default profile which comes with profile builder. If you want to load your own, you can click on search. And these are the example ones which will come. You can select any of these and start placing it in your scene. Now before I load any of these, I'm just going to show you quickly how the profile builder works. So as you can see the placement point here is the bottom middle. I'm going to change it to top left. And you can also change the width and height here. So I'm going to change this to say 2 inches. And press tab. Make sure this is 2 inches as well so that it's uniform. And now I can click here which is build to start creating my profile. So click on build. And now I can start drawing my profile. So click once and then start drawing your profile. You can also snap it to the green or red axis by using your arrow keys. So left is for the green and then right is for your red. And then finally to close it, you can right click and click on close the path. So we have our crown in place. Now you can select this, right click, go to profile builder and click on reverse select it if you want to reverse it. But in our case, we do not really need to reverse it. So it's also important to know which direction you're going to apply the profile in. So now if I click on build again and drag it on the other side, you can see that it doesn't show up because it's on the other side. You can mirror it if you want. So click on mirror, which is here and now it comes back. But I would suggest that you always draw it in the right direction. And in this case, it's the clockwise direction because our placement point is on the top left. So that's how simple it is to create your crowns, moldings and more. There's a lot more features in Profile Builder, but I'm going to show it to you guys later in advanced sections. Now I'm going to use some additional libraries, profile libraries from the Profile Builder website. So click on search first. And now here you can click on get more online. So you'd be redirected to the Profile Builder website. And now you can click on get profiles. And these are the various profiles they have created for us. I'm going to click on previous because there is a set of profiles which we can use for interiors, which is moldings. So I'm going to click on each of these and download it into a particular folder. All right, guys, so I've downloaded all of these files. These are zip files and you need to extract them to your library folder. So where is your library folder? I'm going to show that to you as well. Go to extensions, go to profile builder, click on preferences. And you can see this is the profile library. You can use the default library and create a folder there and place all your profiles in there. Or you can create it in another directory as well, which I would always recommend because always keep the C drive free because it helps in making your system faster to a certain extent. All right. So click on select the home profile directory. So I've created a main library folder called Profile Builder Library and under that I've created another folder called Profiles. So I'm going to use this folder to load all my WinZip files in and click on Select Folder. Similarly, Assembly Folder, which is called 02 underscore assemblies and then Select Folder and then click on OK. So now I'm going to extract all of my profiles to that folder. Alright guys, so I've extracted all of my folders. I'm going to delete these zip files now. And now go back to SketchUp. Click on the profile browser. And now you can simply click on open library folder. Or you can click on open home folder. And it would 
automatically redirect to your library folder which you selected. So now I'm going to select a skirting. So click on basis and you can see the various profiles. So I'm going to select one of these. I'm going to change the placement point to bottom left because that's the general placement point and make sure your height is around four inches or even three inches, whatever you prefer. Finally, click on build and then start creating your profile. You can press escape if you want to create a fresh profile and then create start from here again. Right click and click on finish. I also have a door frame profile. So I'm going to search for one which I could add. Click on open home folder. If you don't like any of these profiles, you can create your own as well. So for that, you can make a rectangle. I'm going to just push this in. I'm going to make a rectangle this way. Make it a group. Scale it to this edge. And this edge as well. And now we can make our shape. So I'm going to use the arc tool and create an arc this way and delete these edges. Now we can explode this. Click on new profile. Call this door frame profile. And now you can see that it has created the profile. I'm going to change the placement point to bottom right as the default placement point. And I can mirror it as well if you like, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave the width and height as is as well and then click on save profile. I'm going to save this to a new folder called this custom profiles. I'm going to give a prefix as well so that I know the number of profiles I've personally created. So 01 underscore row frame profile. So this is the first one and then click on save. So profile is saved. And now we can start building. If you want to change the rotation of your profile, you can click on end. And that would change the rotation of your profile. So I'm going to change the rotation and I'm also going to click on mirror so that I get it in place properly. And if you want to change the placement point on the fly while you are modeling, you can click on home. So home and end is the main new tools which you need. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to click here. Snap it to the red axis and move to the right. And then to the bottom. And we are done. Make sure to press escape to finish the model. Similarly, I'm going to make it here as well. Maybe just push the skirting in a bit. And then create the profile again. I'll adjust it later. So move it to the top, snap it to the red axis and move to the right and then move to the bottom again. Right click, click on finish. Now we need to adjust these. So enter the group. You can select only the right side by dragging from the top left to the bottom right. And then you can use this point and then Snap it to the red axis and move it to the right. Similarly here as well. Make sure you're selecting only the left side of the frame. And then move it in place. We'll do the same for the top as well. Press escape and you are done. You need to adjust these skirtings so that they touch these frames. And we are done. So that's how useful the profile builder plugin is I will be making more tutorials for profile builder in this course in our advanced sections. All right guys so I hope you found this video useful if you'd like to learn more about this course head to the link below I'm sure it's going to help you out in your interior design careers and business. Please do like and subscribe if you'd like more content like this and I'll see you guys in the future videos this is Manish aka SketchUp Guru signing off. Cheers.